Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Yamaha's Steve Nessel makes it a tradition every year to bring out his friends from the outdoor industry and give them an opportunity to hunt Texas. Today he invites Rick Sosabe, an off-road journalist, to our deer camp on the opening day hunt. Hopefully the rain will hold off. It looks like it's uh, getting a little bit crazy here behind us, but um, we're gonna take our time, be patient and uh, hopefully so find something that is uh, worthy of taking home. During breakfast we were talking, uh, we definitely knew we were going back to this field and um, uh, sit in the same spot in hopes that the, the buck that Steve had spotted earlier in the morning would come back. Uh, a lot of does started filtering in and, and, uh, and then we had a couple of uh, um, nice little young bucks come up. Uh, there was one that uh, was scraping the trees a little bit and then there was another uh, uh, younger buck that come in and they uh, got into a little bit of a, a sparring contest. You know, as we were watching these little bucks uh, um, scrape and work around, uh, Steve happened to notice a shadow lurking off in the trees. Man, this beautiful 10-point uh, mature buck comes strutting out. Uh, he's strutting out uh, probably, it was more to our left, but I would say somewhere in the area of 75 to 100 yards from us. Just grazing a little bit, trying to make friends with some of the does and, and uh, is walking away from us. And, you know, my heart is just sinking because I knew that from my experience that the further he got away from us, the bigger chance there was for something to alert everything there that we were there and for us to lose sight of him altogether. Uh, that probably worried me the most. I, I could feel my heart beat in the tips of my fingers. Breath was starting to get really shallow and, and, uh, and that big 10 point turned and, and headed straight back for us. Get ready, Rick. Right, just get your breathing under control. What do you know about that? <laughs> I know I'm proud of you. That. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful animal. He is gorgeous. I think that's the deer we saw this morning before we could make him out when it's dark. Yeah. Because I saw on his left side, he kind of crab gloss, but bigger than that. Yeah. Way he was telling us about a tent out here, that it, kind of the genetics in this area had been here for a while. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, right? <laughs> we talked about making a good shot on a beautiful animal, man. You just did that. Yeah. You see the deal on that. It's just pure elation. You know, you, you, one thing you want to do, and I, I always strive to do, is make an accurate shot. I never want to wound an animal. Um, I, I'm a big boy, so tracking them's not in my favor either. But um, I, I'm just blessed that I was able to make a good shot and, and, uh, and things went well. I've watched a lot of uh, television shows and, and uh, you know, you don't really understand how it feels until you walk up and see it for yourself. And I absolutely could not believe it. Oh, goodness, son. In my heart, I kind of like felt like this one would be the one for me. I just felt like it was going to be uh, the deer. And uh, as soon as this big boy turned around and started heading back towards us, Oh my Lord, it was, I was having to tell myself to breathe. You know, it was just like, take a deep breath, Ricky. You, you gotta grab a hold of yourself. My feet were shaking, my hands were shaking. I think uh, he's in love with Texas now. He's, he, he told me he, he likes to say Georgia is uh, God's country, but you can tell that God definitely had something to do with Texas as well. So, you know, you know love, God love Ricky. Um, I was so glad to be able to, to experience that with him, share it with him. Um, again, didn't do much, didn't have much of a hand in it, but to be there was special for me, so uh, I'm, I'm going to count myself lucky to have been a part of it.